Hey, so today we're going to be talking about itch.io and how to get your game set up on there. Um, so itch.io is a free platform, it's an alternative to Steam. Uh, the nice thing about it is you don't have to pay the $100 fee like you do with Steam. If you try to go to the itch.io website and upload your files directly to the website, you'll have a file limit size of just one gigabyte, which usually is not a large enough size to upload your whole game. So the only alternative that you have is itch.io Butler which basically helps push your game from your desktop over to itch.io. Um, so I'll put this link in the description so you can download the latest build. Once installed, you'll double click on the Butler icon, which is right here. And once it, you double click it, you'll see it, nothing really happens. You'll get this command prompt that pops up and kind of goes away. And that's about it. Basically, all it does is by double clicking that uh, Butler icon, it tells command prompt to wait and know that something with Butler is going to happen. So I made a Butler folder with a Mac and Windows folder on the inside. Inside of those I have a zip file of each version of the game for Windows and for Mac. And then I created a notepad text on how to upload those pushes. So I have a Windows and a Mac version uh, both on my itch.io. It's very important that whatever the name of your game is, that zip file is correct in the spelling of when you push it. So I start with Butler push, which just tells Butler that I'm going to push something to it. And there's a space and then within the quotes is the URL of where that zip file is located on my computer. Then there's another space and then you'll see Skyroid Studios and then Night in Kiyosaka. What that is referring to is my itch.io URL. So that also has to be copied and pasted exactly the way that it's written there. And then the colon and at the very end, whether it's for Windows or for Mac, because I have both going to it. So if I open up command prompt and I take this whole line that I wrote out, much like Steam, if this is the first upload of your game, it will take a bit for itch to upload. But once you make small changes, re-zip the files and upload again, Butler will only upload those changed files and then automatically publishes the newest upload to the version. Once Butler's done, it will give you that your build is now processing and that'll take a bit for it to upload. It tells you what has changed and what's been uploaded and not. Um, so let's just do the other one so we can see the change as well. Um, and then if I go back to my itch.io and I refresh, you'll see that version 10 already happened for Windows and version 9 will probably happen pretty soon within a couple minutes as well. And that pretty much does it for how to upload to itch.io. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. And I hope this helps get your games seen and played by more people. And if you want to know how to get your games published on Steam very easily, I put a link to that video up that I did in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys on the next one.